I've been working with the designer of these drawings for some time now. You know, I've made a few of his designs previously, and this is a uh, new design he's come up with, and we're working together trying to get it to market, you know, find out um, how, make it a marketable option. It's speed, it's got to be handmade to have that um, ethos to it too, and, all, and at the same time make a profit, you know. Um, so yeah, this has probably been going on for a year or so with different uh, bits of designs changing, evolving and stuff. And this video is about the outcome of that. All I'm doing here is just working out my cutting is to try and help things run a bit smoothly and faster, really. For these desks, on this occasion and future occasions, I wouldn't actually having to be doing this part. Choosing the grain, you know, picking out the quarter saw and the roof saw, the legs and stuff. The prison will be doing the rough planing and sawing before me. Well, then all I should have to do is just touch up plane it, as it were, you know, just finish it off to perfection. But this is how it goes without them involved. With every project, I allow for about 40% waste. That's worst case scenario. But you've got to allow for things like checks, shakes, in the ends of the boards look just like today. I mean, that, that's not usable. Fair enough, you pen blank guys, whatever, but making furniture, you know, you just you need to allow for it. Just the sawing, ripping through that bit of wood is 3.2 mil gone in dust. And then look, we're probably losing nearly four mil, planing that down to square that goes on and on in check square My answer to uh, zero clearance inserts, waste of time. Let's do that. Doctor, mm -hmm. I came to you because I understand you're very sympathetic. There was so many router jigs made for this project, I can't honestly remember how many, but that's generally the gist of what was used in the end to complete it. After watching these cuts, you're probably going to wonder why am I doing this. The reason being, at the table saw, I can only do parallel cuts to the fence at the moment because I don't have a good march gauge or angle trench cuts.
Oh, that's tight. Tight as a duck's arse. Probably too tight. Water tight, in fact. That half lap stretch you just saw. That's a bit of a bone of contention. Originally, there was a, a different uh, plan, but uh, which originally was a Tusk, Mortis, and Tenon. Uh, okay, that's pretty easy if everything's just square, but um, the rail on this was at an angle, so it made it considerably more complicated. I did get there in the end, but boy, did it take some work to get it perfect. This video here isn't, isn't it perfect. It's me being way too tight and got some blowout, but... You know, that's prototype work for you. should be a special place in hell for these threaded inserts i hate the damn things my best advice to you is buy the ones with um a continuous thread not like those ones and don't buy the ones that have got the lip on the top of them they're a real pain and if it's really hard wood and you've got to go really deep i'd use some wax on that insert Now this idea came about because one my drill press can only drill 50 mil deep and I think that stretches 70 mil deep. But the other thing is with bolts and people assembling this whole desk, if that threaded, threaded inserts half mil off to the left or right, there's no leeway for um, said person putting this piece of furniture together. So this that was basically our solution. I screwed up here by not clamping it in place. All of these jigs you're seeing here had to be remade as well. I think they were done beginning of last summer or something, but by the time it came to be using them again in winter, the ply had moved and uh, as you can see from that tape that I've had to add, basically made them half a mil too big. The biggest problem with making stuff is measuring stuff. Best avoid it as much as possible because that is introducing human error. If you use relative measurements, that's it even better. Or like I'm doing here, that's always going to be exactly the same when I shove that piece of wood in. Those screws are my, uh, my adjustments. So every time I put a piece of wood, it's going to be exactly the same. And that's pretty close. That's good enough for me. Those of you with a keen eye here can see that fence on that domino is on the piss. It's not a 90 degrees. I can't remember what happened in this glue up. This was so long ago, so I don't know what I did to resolve it in the end, but I did. We're going to the road as we're going to have a real good time so if you've ever wondered what your man is listening to on on his headphones there's a clue ash face ply cheaper 200 quid a sheet And this is how it goes together.
when that Chinese guy starts the van up called some and I can't hear it because I've got my headphones on nice one sorry about this So, slip your pants off and let's take a listen to the...